you got to give response. Okay, boys, uh, first of all, listen to me carefully. Uh, your slavers uh, is chapter number seven. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Eight. Clear? Yes, sir. Chapter nine is not complete. Chapter nine is up to 44. I mean, 40, 1944 is included, which is Gandhi Jana talks, the last topic. So 1944. Today I'm going to revise with you chapter number nine. Is it clear? Yes, sir. And the same you will be preparing. Uh, is it tomorrow? Our next class? Yes, sir. Yes. So same you will be preparing for tomorrow. Now, as I told you that this is very, uh, very brief timeline. You have from 1944 to uh, sorry, 1940 to 44. This is chapter number nine, which is coming. So how many topics are there? Four topics. Lahore resolution. Uh, 1940. This is one. Number two is uh, Crips mission. Three is quit India resolution. Yes. Three is quit India resolution or movement. And Gandhi Jinnah talks. 42 and last is Gandhi Jinnah talks. So you can see that these are very simple topics and for the, these four topics are there. Is it clear to everyone? Hello? Yes, sir, clear, sir. Uh, all of you, please take part, respond. Okay, now uh, we will go through what is there uh, in, in the past papers about these topics. So direct action day is not included. Okay, this is very important. What was the Quit India Resolution? Four mark is written, source B is given. Source B, what does source B tell us? Okay, this is different, source B. What, the question is, what was Quit India Resolution? And it is here actually. What was Quit India Resolution? Um, sir, like Gandhi, sir, he he quit. Uh, he said he quit the British because he thought like uh, the British were trying to separate the Hindus. And they said if uh, he said like if the British leave, sir, uh, the British are saying we'll protect you from the Japanese. But sir, he said like if you guys leave, like the Japanese invasion won't be a thing. So yes. And so sir, he did that to gain power. And like, you know, so the British left uh, Hindu majority and will control over the Muslims. Yes, sir. Uh, here we see quit India. Uh, quit India resolution and uh, we have these points. Now this I want someone to read. Gandhi and sir. a non-violent protest in 1942 spoke at a Congress meeting in Allahabad and argued that if Britain left India, Japan would no longer be a threat. August 1942, quit India resolution passed by Congress calling for immediate with withdrawal of British. Gandhi and Nehru arrested. Congress banned rioting the law and loss of British control in some areas but power restored with force. Muslim League didn't approve of quit India campaign and saw it as anti-Muslim. Okay boy, see here. Quit India resolution or movement. First of all you should know that this was started when in Indian rejected Crips mission. Now, Crips mission came to India in 1942 and it offered Indians a dominion status 
at the end of the war with its new constituent assembly entirely indian and they will be able to frame their own constitution and mean totally independent internally independent but still be part of the empire uh, so this was rejected crips mission proposal rejected and congress passed quit india resolution and started the movement on this is by sir stanford crips right sorry said so it was by stanford crips right sir he brought a meeting stafford crips can you repeat your question sir i was saying like sir it was by sir stanford crips who brought his yeah. committee yeah. sir yeah yeah stuff now uh, what we see here that they started and as uh, we know that it was always said to be non violent and it meant was to pressurize british and uh, this time the objective was that british to quit india leave india and hand over power to the indians this was congress basically and uh, why did brit uh, trips came to india and why british were in a need of indian support especially because japanese were advancing very fast and they were almost at the border of india and they would uh, uh, they might you know invade india as well attack on india and british wanted their indian to be with them defending india which was ignored and even congress said that if british leaves there won't be japanese uh, threat to india any longer because they would invade india only when india would be uh, british uh, colony when british will leave there will be no threat so indians did not compromise and they started this movement and uh, it meant as i said was it meant to be non violent it was to protest and pressurize but it became very violent clashes and british use immense power to control uh, to introduce you know or to restore their control and they used even aerial bombing many people died in this uh, though muslim league did not approve it because it was entirely designed to force british leave india and then hand over power to congress obviously that was the majority party so muslim league definitely did not uh, approve this and uh, and sir hmm? I'm um, sure uh, Lord Mountbatten was in favor of Gandhi's uh, decision of not splitting India. Yeah, that that will come. Uh, Mountbatten would come in '46, right? Later, when he was appointed as Governor General, last Governor General to India. Okay. So this is Quit India movement. Is it clear? is it yes, clear sir. okay yes, okay now this question i wanted to this one source what was quit india resolution no okay fine fine uh, again this question is here uh, moving forward what was cabinet mission is not part of our syllabus right now June third is not there. Direct action day is not there. Red cliff no. Okay, Gandhi ji not talks. This is important. Question. Gandhi ji not talks fail. Why did Gandhi ji not talks fail, or why did Gandhi ji not talks? It's coming again here. Uh, explain why Gandhi ji not talks did not reach an agreement. So it's the same question. there were four points of disagreement if you remember we discussed and this marking scheme is good one because it stated all four in different points form so i want one of you to read first two points and then the next two points hurry up there is no one to read even hello voice yes sir what are you doing here if you don't want to participate and all that hmm ahmed nawaz are you here 
Ahmed Nawaz. Yes, sir. So why are not you reading? Read the first two points. Hurry up, sir. Timetable. Gandhi wanted to achieve independence first, then partition discussions could follow. Whereas Jinnah wanted to settle the issue of partition first. He knew that his bargaining position would be weaker if he went along with Gandhi's plan. Audience support. Gandhi insisted that he spoke for all Indians and could not accept the position of Muslims as being a separate nation, and so wanted independence for all Indians as a united nation. Jinnah was opposed to this. Okay, now did you get these two points? Because we have discussed these things in detail, so I hope you can easily understand and uh, now remember. The first is independence or versus partition, right? Is this point clear? Yes. Yes, sir. The second is Gandhi Institute is insisted to be speaking for all Indians. Uh, but Kaya De Azam did not accept, and he reminded him that he, he speaks for Hindus or Congress only, and that Muslims being a separate nation. Uh, next two point, who will read? Okay, Arya Pray. Tensions. Jinnah was at odds with Gandhi, Gandhi, and declared that he only spoke for Hindus. So would accept the idea of partition he believed that gandhi w did not accept the two nation idea of partition role of government gandhi also wanted the central government to have control of key areas such as a defense and as defense and foreign policy whereas jinnah wanted these issues to be dealt with locally by the provinces okay boys these two points little bit uh maybe you you face a little bit difficulty here you can break these two points in this case like one with it gandhi claimed to be the spoke person of all indians whereas kaidyazam reminded him that he only spoke for hindus and muslim league represent muslims the second point was two nations vs united nation so gandhi claimed that we are a united nation we are one one nation there is one nation we are all indians kai doesn't reminded him no he said muslims are a separate nation and india to be partitioned on the basis of two nation theory so that's the two points basically one claim to be the spokesperson of uh, all india versus only hindus and one versus two nation versus one nation is it clear for god's sake even you can't respond to a confirmation question what what do you want Yes, sir. This is like I I don't understand uh, what's going on. W what are you doing here, rest of you students? W what's the purpose? If you even can't respond to a confirmation question, if it is clear, fine. Not clear, then you can ask. Okay, I don't understand this or that point. Or, or otherwise, if you are just here with muted mics, or even I don't know you are here or not. like this is what we learn uh, this sacred month of ramadan and this is the level of mor morality and level of uh, responsibility that we don't even bother to respond why should i be revising like if you are not uh, there interested so why should i be revising syllabus is done what's the purpose tell me now this is totally unfair 
and if you think like fasting uh, is is just to not eat or drink is totally showing responsibility to everything you are up to and a student has no other responsibility but to his studies that is the main thing now i see no point uh, of revising if you guys are not responding to so just wait let the class be over and i end the class if you want this to happen so that's fine we can do it like this way none of you has this courage moral courage that you should at least speak and say okay we are here we are going to participate or this like this this is the level Internet issues, so that's why sometimes the mic opens and sometimes it closes. Boy, if there is any issue, we do understand and never emphasize upon this. But issue can be with one or two students; it can't be with all. And this is totally disappointing when people are not responding, and when the revision is going on. Revision has to be by you. It it should be, I mean. the students participation what is the revision if i am again repeating all those points like we have already discussed and the case oh, here he, here is that students even not just simply saying that is it clear or not any yes or no or if they have problem they can ask question otherwise what's the point of revising um sir the class will participate from now on forward sir i hope so inshallah sir the next uh, as i i try to explain these two points one independence versus partition second one nation united nation versus two nation third gandhi is claimed to be speaking for all indians but kaid reminded him that you spoke for hindus only and the fourth point of difference was that the central government which definitely was to be of hindus because they had the power uh, majority so they wanted key control with central government which was refused by kaid azam ahmed ali jinnah and kaid always always from 14 points and before and afterwards till this point kaid view was that provinces to have maximum authority and power because muslim could frame could have their government only at provincial level where they were majority in punjab or sindh or Balochistan or NWFP or Bengal; these were major Muslim majority provinces. So Muslim could form their government at provincial level only. So provincial government having authority, maximum power, would mean that uh, the authority or power with the Muslims, or that they could lead their lives within their these territories independently. So which was not accepted. So talks failed. but these talks fail but their significance their importance for muslim league was immense one that so you shouldn't under, take this talk that it failed in all way or totally no for muslim league it was a great success for muslim 
it was great uh, success how that one thing was very clear that muslim league presented its views kaidazam negotiated <clears throat> and it made very clear that muslim league will not compromise on anything uh, then its main objective and that was in uh, separate homeland secondly it was also very clear that no solution of the indian problem and what was the indian problem at this point that british were almost prepared to leave india but the question was how will they leave india would they hand over power to congress simply because that was majority party and leave india so what will be the solution so now it was very clear that british would not be able to hand over power to the congress because muslim league uh, and muslim role is very important in deciding the future of india so this is the importance of this talk why did crips mission fail <clears throat> so these three points anyone to read and it will be clear why did it fail it was rejected by the congress party because they wanted immediate and full control over central government <clears throat> the muslim league rejected the plan because it contained no reference to the establishment of an independent pakistan the british were negotiating from a weak position which the congress congress party recognized demanding the britain left the subcontinent immediately now here you see that these three points are given three reasons for rejection crips mission what was it i told you already and muslim league rejected because it did not mention separate homeland for muslims but did they promise elections after the world war 2 they promised dominion status and election after world war 2 but congress demand was immediate transfer of power and uh, british to leave india so they rejected muslim uh. league passed lahore resolution demanding for separate homeland which was not mentioned directly here so muslim league also rejected yes and secondly british position was not as strong as it used to be so Congress knew this thing, and they believe that it's a high time to pressurize them and to make them leave India. There are only four topics in this, uh, as I mentioned earlier, four topics only. And what you are supposed to do, prepare these four topics tomorrow, and uh, we will have uh, a brief test in the class. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Laugh, yes, sir. Laugh, sir. Laugh, sir. Laugh, sir. Laugh, sir. Yes, please. Sir, uh, in the final exam, will we have the same paper pattern? Like, will they ask only three questions? Paper pattern, I will tell you tomorrow, right? Okay. Okay. Allah is. Allah is. Allah is.